All right. Hello, you beautiful bastards. Welcome back. Let's just uh, do this uh, side mission first. See what this is all about. Hello. Buongiorno. Have you ladies heard of an art viewing somewhere in the city? You have returned to Roma. Oh, Claudia. Just enough time to visit you. Again. Ezio, do not lie to me. I need to get inside the private showing of Da Vinci paintings. There is a viewing at the Castel Sant'Angelo later today. You will need an invitation. Fortunately, I know where you can procure one. It will give you access to the lower floors. Only cardinals are allowed higher. I knew I could count on you. Si, si. Some of my girls will accompany you. Buona fortuna, and don't get caught. Do I have it? Do not let guards discover any dead bodies inside the restricted area. Eh. Okay, I'm here, Kota-san. Hmm? Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. You won't hear all that splashing, I bet. Hey, I do, man. Just, uh, what you got on you, huh? Some shrunken heads? No, no, just for it. Okay. You can use... Damn it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Just, you can go in the water there. Drown immediately, even though that's not realistic. be taking this and where is he gonna go into the drink Plan that. Hmm. Keep them busy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. is not here I will deliver it to signori
<laughs> My armor. Necessary evil. Oh, what the hell? Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, I see. There was that other path I should took instead of uh, the climbing that building. Oh, I'm supposed to tackle him. Okay. There's a minute. Oh my god, that guy fell down. Professional. And he's already there, I'm late. God damn it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> if. Mm, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Get back here. I'm getting tired of you. Got it. Uh, sorry. I didn't do anything. But you know, just what else did you have on you? Oh. See, it was worth it in the end. What's my objective? Escape area and become anonymous. Oh. Well, easy. Look at that 100% sync and really on the first try when I actually tried. <clears throat> Claudia! Oh! Oh! I need to speak with you again. Except, like, that first mission, like, is in the future, I believe. Correct? Hmm? Mother. Well done, Ezio. The courtesans tell me only the loyal remain. They speak the truth. Then let us not delay. Ambassadors from the Spanish king and German emperor have been discovered in Roma, seeking Cesare's support. Render them impotent, my son. Impotent. Okay. Does that mean I have to go to the other places? Because I don't have any more uh, thief assignments, I believe. Guess I'll have to check that out. Oh, another assassination. Gotta do that too. Anyway, what in Claudia? What do you want? You spoke of a senator at the meeting. Find him on the Campidoglio. You do not need me. Once I kill the banker, your girls must take his money back to the underground. Fine. Stay alert. Uh, do not be detected while escorting the senator. Okay. Watch this uh, be the harder mission to do, opposed to the tank one. 
That I completed first try. Did you see that? Yeah, first try. Now, where is that senator? Yes, where is he? Hello? There's a doctor. Nothing else. Hey. I'll just buy that real quick. For an old man. No. A banker sent us to collect. I will have his money momentarily. Not good enough. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Hey. <laughs> what is this, sir? Uh, Ezio Torchi, the eldest of two brothers, Ezio. I was the son of a senator who had the bad l luck of following in his father's footsteps. Described as a naive idealist in a letter from his brother, Francisco, Edio attempted to bring back the heir of Rome, of the Rome Commune, when the Senate, the conservor, conservatory, Stood at head of, at the head of the democracy. Problem was the papacy, papacy. When in Rome, all for itself. As the century came to a close, the Pope seized control of Rome's urban planning, public works, and finances, leaving the conservatory with little more to do with, little more to do than plan festivals. Eggio, seeing his fellow senators turn a blind eye as the Campidilago slowly became a living museum, seems to have grown jaded. Am I the only one in all of Rome who continues to seek freedom and justice? He writes in a letter dated 1494. Records kept as the Rosa in Fiora indicated he began visiting regularly in 1495. Jesus. Meanwhile, Ezio's brother, Francisco, went to work for the Pope as his chamberlain and secretary, becoming good friends with Cesare. Such good friends, in fact, that he was called one of the Borgia's most trusted assassins. Oh... A letter sent to the Vatican, the, not the Vatican, the Venetian ambassador by Eggio in 1503, detailing Cesare's war plans for the region, reveals his hatred for the Cesare and his brother's inability to keep secrets while under the influence. Okay. Hey. Good Samaritan in Roma. I thought they were a dying breed. Senator Egidio Troche. I don't owe you money too, do I? I'm looking for Cesare's banker. Ha! Cesare Borgia. And you are? A friend of the family. Cesare has a lot of friends these days. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them. I can pay. Ma che meraviglia! He fights guards and he gives away money. Where have you been all my life? We better get out of here. I know a place. Well, if he was a danger, he'd leave. The guards aren't being very friendly, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Hmm.
Someone really wants you dead. A few months ago, my brother Francesco, the Pope's Chamberlain... I know, I know, don't get me started. He told me of Cesare's plans for Romagna. I wrote to the ambassador of Venezia, warning him. One of my letters must have been intercepted. <clears throat> the Senate has nothing to do these days. The Borgia have taken all the power. You know what it's like to not have a cazzo to do? It changes uh -huh. the man. Uh -huh. I admit I've been gambling, drinking, and whoring. Oh, you're good. Was it the perfume on my sleeve? Something like that. I need smoke bombs. That's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, not again. <laughs> I wasn't detected there, right? Oh god. Senators used to petition about real issues like unlawful cruelty, <laughs> abandoned children. Now we write up legislation on the appropriate width of women's sleeves. Not you. You raise money for false causes to pay back your gambling debts. False causes? Ooh. I am interested in pursuing them as soon as I am financially able to do so. You ever look at the grave and think this is the most significant thing I will ever do? Uh, no. Okay, here we are. Look at that. Pretty easy. It is not safe here. We oh. must keep moving. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, gotta make it longer. You won't be able to go down that way. <laughs> Ooh. Is he coming this way? Oh, they are. Yep. Just moving the crowd. Oh, they stopped. That's not good. Are they gonna turn around? Oh god. Uh -huh. Let me go. Oh. Hey guys, how you doing? You wanna stop the other guy? Scoozy, scoozy. <laughs> oh no, not that way. Sweet. Oh. <clears throat> How's your day been, huh? They're not better. Never mind. I don't care. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, is this is this where you safe? No. Nope. Cannot stop here. Too many guards. Of course. Now I gotta go back. Great. Ah, <laughs> uh, this way. Excuse me. Oh, that way. Up, up, up. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, oh God. There's a lot.
Go over here. Come on, come on, Edgio. Jesus Christ. Oh, of course. And what the hell? Did all that for nothing. Just because he got stuck on a corner. Okay, we're back. Let's get in here now that you didn't get caught on a freaking corner. I should never have sent them to the ambassador. It was the last the one too. murdered me. Benvenuto to the home of my brother Francesco. Thank God he's not here. We haven't talked since he found out about the letters. What did you want again? Cesare's banker. Right. I need to arrive with the money. Problem is, there is no money. You are meeting the banker. Where? I never know until I'm there. I go to one of three places. Then his friends take me to him. I will bring you all the money you owe. Sul serio? You need to stop this. You might actually give me hope. Oh, hey. Wait, do I need to... This is a mission. Later. We'll do it later. Let me head to the Pantheon and buy that. I thought I bought that. Oh my god, look at that guy. Haha, <laughs> unexpected. Ooh, Tatar. Put that with my fish. Ezio, the Borgia grow uncertain as your attacks continue. The Pope's spies move throughout the city. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, Machiavelli has uncovered their names. Grazie. Ooh, new assassinations. That's good, that's good. I guess no mercenary missions. Not like I could really tell where freaking the missions are. We got one there. And... Is that it? See, a good thing about doing all this side stuff when it pops up is that it just allows me to do some story and then a little bit of side stuff. Where 
so that way, freaking you don't have five episodes of utter side stuff, and then like one episode of story, and then back to side stuff. It's almost like they intended you to do it when it popped up. It was just that my little pea brain back in the day didn't do anything but just the story. So it was like, eh. Who cares? Anywho, the Borgia have unleashed their interrogators. If they cannot find us, they will brutalize the people of Roma until they get the answers. Strike with precision, or you may be overwhelmed. Do not let your targets call for reinforcement. Okay. Thank you for telling it twice. But I got the assassinos on my side. <laughs> so... Maybe we'll be good. Just that easy. Just that easy. Huh. Hey, what you got on you, huh? Hmm, yes. Nothing. You? Leash, a walk on Mortlak, Elkulun Mumkin. The wisdom of our creed. Is revealed through these words. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. There we go. That makes freaking. Where? Oh. So close. Just two more, and then we'll be freaking Master Assassins. And then we have, you know, the three others that I still can't get to just yet. But that's besides the point. Oh, yes. Scaling be buildings is... Okay, what? What? It's so much easier. Oh. That's very nice. Pretty nice. We'll just call it right here. Right here. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this episode, you beautiful bastards. Uh, freaking, it's gonna be a weird one to edit, as I said before. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it all turns out. It is Friday right now, so after I record, after I'm done recording the next episode, I get to edit five to seven episodes. Yeah, for Friday, then Sunday, along with Saturday, of course, I skipped that one for some reason. And whatever. 
I'm gonna have a lot of work to do over the weekend here. But yeah, I'll do it for you. Anyway, I uh, will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.